What's up, YouTube? Been a minute, been a minute. So yeah, I want to tell y'all the benefit of having uh, a low cost operation for your uh, trucking business. So, the cost, uh, the cost for my type of um, setup, vehicles for my setup with the uh, seven car, it's kind of slowing down in the winter time. And so, a friend of mine, he got a truck company, car hauling company, whatever. He needed help with his, uh, he had to like, drive a quit. He needed help with his loads. And he had some, uh, a lot of good paying loads right now. So what I did was, made more sense. Hop into his truck right now for like a month. Run these loads with him. You know what I'm saying, I'm loaded right now. I'm about to go drop these off. Run these, run these loads for him real, you know what I'm saying, for a little while, help him out. Probably just do it to like, just weigh it over. Cause I got a lot, I got a lot going on right now. I'm about to get married, um, uh, wedding in like a week and a half now. So, probably run it with him to like the end of the month, then hop back in my truck. But yeah, just showing you like, that's the thing, like, the, when you get into this on this side of the, um, with your authority and everything, you want to have options. You want to be able to do, you know what I'm saying, whatever you want, whether it's, like I said, how I was, I car haul, I can drop that trailer, go do Amazon, you know what I'm saying, lower my insurance, and still be able to make my bills. I can, like, my, my cost of operation is so low. Like I can basically, like basically what I'm running right now, all I did was I lowered my insurance down to basically equivalent to like hauling, driving, basically. And I can still pay my authority, my insurance, all my bills, and basically be a company driver for car hauling. Now you can, I can't do that with, you know what I'm saying? Driving for somebody doing reefer or driving, but I can hop into somebody else's car hauler as basically a company driver and still pay all my authority bills, all my business expenses as if I was still in, in, in uh still having still in business. And so with him been with him been uh you know what I'm saying it's been ten ninety nine position, still get paid through my company and all that stuff. So like I said he needed help with some loads. And it was at a perfect time because it was starting to slow down. So it was like a win-win for both of us. He needed help with the loads. He had a couple trucks down and stuff. And then he, uh, cause he got a lot of new drivers that don't really know how to car haul like that. So I'm able to keep running. He keep making money while his other drivers still learning. And then for me, like I said, <clears throat> I get to make the money. Cause like I said, cars are slowing down for me. So I get to still make good money. And, um, you know what I'm saying? Take care of this, uh, everything I got going on. So you wouldn't be, that's what I'm saying, you wouldn't be able to do stuff like this. Just being able to maneuver whenever you want to, you can't do that when you got them high truck payments and all that. Cause then it wouldn't, like you wouldn't be able to do it, basically. So, like I said, and then also another win, I wanted to, um, I wanted to uh, learn how to, um, I wanted to practice on these high rails because uh, the, the Stinger, the nine cars, I'm used to loading. But this is a 10 car. I'm used to loading nine cars. So also it was a win for me because I want, because I plan on getting a truck like this. So this is me getting my experience on one of these type before I, um, before I buy it basically. And it wasn't hard. It wasn't hard at all. Like once you know how to load the nine car, uh, Stinger, you can load the tank car for real. It just took me like probably a day, probably like two. Took me like one, like two pickups and two drops for me to basically master this truck. Now I'm smooth sailing for real. Yeah, just wanted to get that out to y'all, man. So I, it's good to have that low, that low overhead. You know I'm saying a lot of people be scared and worried about like truck breaking down and all that type of stuff, but you know I'm saying yeah, I might. I had to do more maintenance on my equipment a little more than the average person, but I'm more flexible when, you know what I'm saying, hard times come or if anything, you know what I'm saying, if I just want to change my mind, do something else. You can't do that 
Once you got that high payment, you locked in until that don't pay it off, basically. So yeah, like I said, I'm about to uh, drop these, like I said, drop these off uh, Delaware, then I'm gonna go hit the uh, Portland, Baltimore and go load back up, I'm going west. So yeah, I'll be driving this prior to like the end of the month. But yeah, good old Western Star. This is my first time driving a Western Star too, these Jones. I like that, I think this one I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a Western Star. Jones clean. So, oh yeah, I got a, I got some, something in store too. Some, some real coming real soon, man. Y'all just keep watching. Y'all can see a nice, nice old play, nice move happen real soon. So, I'll holler at y'all next video, man.